Hello, my name is Ali Reza, and I'm going to present Open Vocabulary Object Detection using Captions. The mainstream approach for object detection is to use supervised learning, which basically means if you want a dog classifier, you need to annotate a lot of dog images with bounding boxes, and even then you would only be able to detect dogs and not any other type of object. Now, if you want a more versatile model that can detect cats as well, you need to double your annotation cost and label a lot of cat images as well, and that doesn't scale well if you want to increase the number of categories. So there are some recent works that try to solve this problem using zero-shot learning, which basically means training on some categories like dog and generalizing to unseen categories like cat. However, these methods are not practical yet because their accuracy is still very low. In this paper, we propose an alternative approach called open vocabulary detection. The key idea is to augment the training data with some image caption pairs, which are much easier to collect than bound box annotation. Uh, and so uh, if uh, some categories don't have any annotation like cat, we can still learn how they look uh, using image caption pairs and then detect them without any annotation. So let's see how it works in practice. We design our model based on faster RCNN, which means given an image, we extract feature maps and then region proposals and then uh, their feature vectors and then feed them into a classifier. And then the classifier basically takes each region and multiplies weights, weights uh, to get uh, classification scores and use that to label the um, proposal box. Each column of this weight matrix can be seen as a class prototype, which is randomly initialized and trained with the rest of the network. In zero-shot learning models, the key idea is to replace this classifier weights with pre-trained word embeddings and then fix them during training. Because the pre-trained word embedding have already seen uh, and learned a good representation for each class, uh, basically all we need to do is to train a linear layer that maps visual features to the embedding space, uh, which we call the V2L layer. In zero-shot learning, we train this network on base classes that we have annotation for, and in test time, we replace these uh, classifier weights with the embeddings of the target classes. Zero-shot learning assumes that the V2L layer will work for unseen classes as well, uh, even though we haven't seen any examples uh, of those during training. But there is no evidence for that assumption to be true, and in fact, the performance of these models on target classes is usually much worse than the base classes. So the key idea of our work is to pre-train this vision-to-language projection layer as well as its backbone uh, on an open vocabulary image caption data set. So it can learn the appearance of objects like cat um, for which we don't have any annotation. So let's take a closer look. Given an image caption pair in the pre-training data, we extract a feature map and word embeddings and then use a visual grounding mechanism to map each word to its corresponding image region. Visual grounding is well studied and there are many papers on learning such a mapping using weekly supervised data. This results in a projection from visual features to uh, the word embeddings, which is exactly what we were looking for. And the good news is this mapping is not restricted to a limited set of categories because captions are naturally open vocabulary. Our full model is a bit more complex than that because we also have a multimodal transformer structure, which is used to learn some auxiliary tasks like mass language modeling, but these are not so important. The main component of our pre-training is the visual grounding part. Once we learn the backbone and the V2L layer, we use it to initialize a faster RCNN and train it on base class annotations exactly like a regular faster RCNN. With the only difference that we have pre-trained the word embeddings and V2L layer, and we fix them both during training. Uh, it's important to fix the V2L layer because it can quickly overfit if you start to fine tune it. Okay, now let's see some experiments. We use the COCO captions dataset to pre-train the model and then use the COCO object annotations to fine tune the model. And we only use 48 classes during training. Then we evaluate on 17 other classes to measure the generalization ability of this model. The main result of this paper is that we achieved 27.5% mean average precision uh, on target classes, which is about three times higher than the best zero-shell learning approach. And that's mainly because uh, we use captions and zero-shell models can't. So we also compare it to some weekly supervised detection models that can use captions and we outperform those as well. Here you can see that even though we didn't have any annotation for elephant, airplane, or bus, our model is able to consistently detect those uh, in all video frames and accurately localize them while a faster CNN wouldn't be able to detect any of these. Feel free to contact me for any questions. Thank you.